I'm about to show you something incredibly exciting, which is a sneak peek at one of the lessons from my course, the Church Drummer Training Camp. So let's jump into it. Today you are going to learn how to play worship snare roll grooves, like a total boss. So let's jump into it. Point, you are probably fully aware that church drumming has a broader array of dynamics than almost any other genre or type of drumming. You have times where you are just adding atmosphere, where you are building, where you are doing tom grooves with no snare drum, sometimes with snare drums, doing big halftime grooves, and so many other things. But there is one thing that we haven't covered and that is the snare roll groove. This is very popular within worship music, oftentimes in bridges, and maybe even in quiet choruses. This is a great way to change up your beats and change up your dynamics, but while still having that classic church drummer feel. So let's jump into it. So we are gonna start off with a big surprise, halftime snare roll groove, which, at this point, you know so much of church drumming is halftime, and that sounds cool. So we are going to just be alternating single strokes as 16th notes. So one E and a, two E and a, and then accenting with your dominant hand on beat three to get that back beat is what they call it. Then with the kick drum, we're playing on beats one, the and of one, and on beat four. But we do have a couple variations when it comes to what we are playing on our hands. Right before beat three, where we have that accent, I want you to play a double with your weak hand. So it's technically a 30 second note. You could almost do a buzz stroke here if you wanted to, if you were playing it fast enough. Then at the very end of the measure, I want you to play a double stroke. So right, right, left, left. Of course, flipped if you're left-handed. And that is going to be played as 30 second notes. If you want to, you can play it as single strokes, but it's a great opportunity to work on those doubles, which I know we can all probably work on. So when we put this all together, it sounds like this. Now this next snare roll groove is absolutely essential to know as a church drummer because it's so common along so many different types of worship music. But to be a good church drummer, it's so much more than just learning the right beats and fills. You need to actually know the foundational concepts. When I first auditioned for my church, I didn't know these and guess what? I failed the audition. But once I learned those foundational concepts like the five levels of building or even the secrets to get my snare drum to sound right for worship music, I went back to the audition and passed. But that's why in my course at Church Drummer Training Camp, you will learn everything that you need to know to be able to pass your church audition, play worship music better, and play better live at your church. Trust me, I know this because I have over 10 years of experience playing at a ton of different churches. You can get instant access to this course and many others by joining my online drum school, DBO Academy, right up here for just the price of a couple burritos. Plus, we have live lessons and we release new lessons every single week. But now let's get into the second snare roll groove. So the next snare roll groove that we have is in six, four times. So remember, this means that it is the length of six quarter notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of worship songs in six four time because it kind of has this cool swaying feeling to it. So what we are gonna do is simply play alternating eighth notes on the snare drum. So one and two and we are going to accent on beat four with your dominant hand. However, in measure two, we are going to accent the and of beat two with your weak hand along with beat four and then you are going to accent six and. So right, left, or left, right, if you are left-handed. Then we are simply just gonna add a bass to it with throwing on a kick drum note on beats one of both measures. So when we put that all together, it sounds like this.
Now, if you're struggling with some of the doubles in these snare roll grooves, it could be that you need a little bit of work on your technique and control over your drumsticks. And that's exactly why I made this video for you right here, which will help you improve your control technique and speed in just 30 days. And if you wanna learn how to become a better church drummer and overall take your drumming to the next level, then click right up here to join DBO Academy and get instant access to this course and a ton more. I'll see you there. Stay true. Bye.